everyone, welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel this weekend, guys, as we are back into action in La Liga. It's been a rare midweek without any game for the club. The players there have had a few days off and that is why this weekend we're all hoping to see an energetic display. We will need to bring the intensity here heading to San Mames to take on Athletic Club, where as you can see... Robert Lewandowski is back in the team and ready to go, leading our line, although Ronald Arau will be missing this weekend. We're going to be talking all about that important team selection from Xavi and what we can expect, and it's coming up for you. So come on! And let's do this. Because today, guys, we are going to be focusing firmly on matters on the pitch this weekend. Another big game that it is here for Barca. But if you do want to learn more about the refereeing scandal that is surrounding the club right now, making sense of all the kinds of reports we're hearing, I have released a video there today over on More Talk FCB to try and explain the situation a little bit further for those of you right now who are looking for some clarity. So please do check that out if you would like. But right here... And and right now, we are focusing on the pitch indeed, because it is a big weekend for Barca, given that we'll be facing Athletic Club in the final game there on Sunday this weekend, and with Real Madrid facing off against Espanyol, those there are the last games these teams will play before El Clasico next weekend. Massive game that is in La Liga, and indeed in terms of the title race, because as you can see here, this is heading into the weekend, heading into round 25, we have a nine-point lead over Real Right now, there's 14 games to go. We have a healthy lead, no doubt about it, but we've got to make sure we maintain that there, heading into El Clasico. And when you are looking at our opponents right now, Athletic Club, they are entering the weekend. They're sort of hovering around the mid-table area, which I think given how Athletic started the season and how they were looking early on under Ernesto Valverde, again, that will be a disappointment for his team, but certainly at their home stadium, in their own ground, San Mames, in a big game like this, you know that Athletic are always going to look to raise their game. But of course, we did meet them back in October earlier on this season there. I've got to say at the time, we spoke about it on the channel. It was a tactical masterclass from Xavi. That was when we actually saw four midfielders there take to the field. Valverde didn't expect it. And Barca sailed to a 4-0 victory. Dembele, Sergi Roberto, Lewandowski and Ferran Torres all on the score sheet. But this time round, I would definitely expect a tougher and a much tighter game in this one. We have to be prepared, I feel, looking at the stats here for Athletic to go direct. They're a team that like to get balls into the area. They're a team that certainly will look to play on the set pieces, really put pressure on our defence. And as you can also see there, aside from Real Madrid and Barca this season, Athletic are the team who take on the most shots. They are getting their shots away more than any other team in the league aside from the big two. And we will have to be ready for that kind of pressure and stand up to it on Sunday. And there are some very important boosts there for Xavi and his Barcelona a squad this weekend because like I say back in the team now Robert Lewandowski is fit and available to play against Athletic also great to see Gavi back in the team as well he comes back after his suspension last weekend but unfortunately for us there is still no Pedri or Usman Dembele now early on this week of course we spoke a lot about Dembele and his recovery we won't likely see him now until April after the international break he's been given there just a bit more time to make sure he is absolutely right and won't have any relapse in his muscle problem. Pedri, though, it should be said, is further along in his recovery than Dembele is. He's certainly closer to returning. It's possible that we could see him next weekend in El Clasico if Barca feel the need to bring him back for that game. It's all going to depend now on how he trains next week. The medical staff are keeping a very close eye on him. And again, there's no intention to take any risks. But Pedri is not ruled out for that game against Real Madrid. But if we do now take a look at how Xavi could line up in this game, given the options that he has, those as well that he does not, because at the heart of our defence, of course, we are missing our leader, our fortress at the back, Ronald Araujo will be missing. Of course, he had that red card against Valencia. It was almost heroic in a way, wasn't it, to bring down the last man to stop what would have been almost a certain goal, but we still went on to win the game, and in the end, the red card was a good choice almost, but the important part on that is that he will only miss one game, this game here against Athletic Club, and he will be back next weekend 
again to face Real Madrid. So the big question I feel is right now in defence, what do you do there? Because on the one hand, you could then line up still with Kunde at right back, with Christensen then at centre back, and then actually Marcus Alonso coming in to play alongside Balde. So do you bring Alonso in to replace their Araujo like for like? Or do you just shuffle around that back four? Do you keep Balde, Christensen, move Kunde infield there to centre back and then play Roberto in the right back position? And I think the big question is going to be there. Do you want Alonso or do you want Roberto in your team? That's a decision that I want you guys to answer in the comments down below. Because do not forget, guys, this defence right here is going to have to come up against the Williams brothers. Those are going to be the big threats from Athletic Club. And Yaki, of course, down the middle. Nico Williams, of course, on the right hand side for them. So he's going to be up against Alejandro Balde. I feel more than comfortable with that. But down the middle, we've got to protect against the pace that Athletic Club can bring. So the question would be, if it is going to be Alonso, that's the way that I think Chaffee personally will go, that he'll be happy to bring him in at centre-back. He's done that right throughout the season. But are we going to drop that bit deeper at times? Without Araujo, without his pace covering in behind, we might not want to leave a huge amount of space for Athletic to exploit, because that's what they'll be hoping for. In midfield, it should simply be Busquets, Frankie, Kessie. We've had a whole week off here. Everybody's ready. Everybody's fresh. It should be that trio in midfield. And then I would put Gavi out on the left-hand side. I think the four midfielders work well against Athletic in the reverse fixture. Obviously, this time, we won't have that surprise element, but I still think it can be a real success. Rafinha on the right-hand side for Barca, and then Lewandowski down the middle there. I think that is a solid enough team to beat Athletic Club. It's not going to be easy. We're going to have to improve on our level that we've shown in the past few games, but we've Gavi back in here with that strong midfield there with Lewandowski back and hopefully Rafinha again can have a big moment in this game which will help to get the three points because when you are looking at the predictions heading into this one I think it's safe to say right now we feel as though these wins are going to be really hard to come by we've seen over the past few league games that we've had to grind it out that they have been single goal margins a lot of the time and I think many of us expecting that pattern to continue here against Athletic Club they've got a lot of threats I think it won't be easy either to keep a clean sheet without Araujo. I would opt for maybe 2-1 Barca. Lewandowski back on the score sheet maybe. It would be a big game for him to come back here with a big goal at a big time. Let me know what you're expecting. What are your predictions heading into this one? What are you expecting from Barca in this game? And ahead of El Clasico, let's keep the confidence going. Let's keep our momentum. Let me know those thoughts down below and what you're feeling ahead of this weekend's game. I will see you after it, of course, for the full match reaction. I hope that it's going to be a positive performance and a big result. Thank you guys for all of your support here across both of the channels. And I will see you now after the game. But until next time, as always, Vishka, El Barca. Oh.